if you're going to come into my life, please do not leave. Because I do not want to be hurt. If you're down, I could take you on a pause. If you're down, I might put an ass on snows. If you're down, maybe we could break the rules. If you're down, just let me know, yeah. If you're down, let me feel so showing up with you. What's up, Lori family? It's your girl, Leanna, and your girl, London. Okay, and we're back at it again with another video. So today, what we're going to do is a reaction video. Are you ready to see the video? Um, no. Okay. Well, I'm nervous. We're, you're nervous? All right. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Um, anything you want to say to the yeah. camera? Yeah. Um, okay, let's get into the like video. Like the video. Okay, like the video, guys. Let's get into this video. What's up, man? What's going on? What's going on, bro? What's up? What's going on, man? What's going on with you, bro? What's not going on with me? Alright, so I'm gonna stop right there and ask you that's the first time you've seen your biological dad in a very, very long time. How do you feel? Um uh, I don't know how to say it. What like speechless or um, speechless. Speechless, you have the answer. Okay. Alright, let's let's keep getting into it. Okay, I'm recording. Okay. I'm giving you this opportunity so everybody could hear your side. everything and I'm thinking of that you know you're not gonna give it right so so what you plan to do then okay I understand uh -oh. so your dad said he's not gonna give his rights up, up. Mm -hmm. he said I can't he will not give his rights up how do you feel about that um Speechless again. Speechless again? Okay. I kind of wanted him to give up his rights. Okay. Just want to be kind of a long time. Oh. Oh, I love him. Seems fucked. You know the damage you create, right? Mm hmm The big question is, everybody want to know why. I don't know why. If I had the answer to that, I don't know. Well, I went wrong. I mean, so. But what happened? I just lost complete track of life, period. I understand that, but. It's, not, it's not gonna be, this is the thing, though. It's not gonna be nothing that I could possibly say that's gonna justify what I did. There's nothing that I can say. Right. It would have been easier. How do you feel about those words? Um, um, I feel happy that he's saying that. Yeah? Why? Because there is nothing that can justify what we're on. Okay. Or where he right. went. 
He said this. There's nothing he could justify. That's, you know, he lost complete track of life. He says. You know, how do you feel about that? Um. I would really like to know where he went. Maybe. Right. Or what he was doing. What he was doing. Okay. Way easier if he did what he did, right? But nobody know about it. You know? Because I didn't live still. When he disappeared, nobody knew nothing. Nobody knew where you were mm -hmm. calling, nothing. But then we're going to think, like, all right, maybe something bad happened. Yeah. You know? Or whatever, but we don't know. Yeah. But then they see you happy. Yeah. That's the messed up part, bro. Yeah, the, yeah they see me. Everybody see me get in a relationship. I know what's happening. And they see your child involved. Um, that's where that whole situation was. Me just running blind. Jumping into a relationship that I'm clearly wasn't ready for. Let me ask you, are you still in a relationship right now? No. How do you feel that he went into a relationship and there was a little kid involved that he was like um that he was a the little kid was a part of his life um feel the mad okay why because he already has a kid mm -hmm. and he doesn't see me yeah. Do you want to tell him anything right now through camera? Why did you leave? Okay. That, that, that's, that's a problem, bro. This is where you ask it, because I love learning. I love learning like my blood, like my daughter. You feel me? And my main thing was to protect learning. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody feels. My thing was to protect learning. Mm -hmm. So, this is the thing. You did that because you get into a relationship. What's going to happen if you get into another relationship? You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for another way. That relationship is, is, I jumped in it blind. I don't plan on going to get in another relationship. Cause what, what I want to ask is, when you was in a relationship, she didn't ask, she know you have a daughter, right? Yeah. She didn't ask like you check for your daughter or anything like that? She did. But, what was your excuse? That, that shit was just... <sighs> bro, let me tell you, you're a good person. But what he did was messed up. I'm not gonna. Uh, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not. I know what I did, bro. I know what I did, and I know the damage it caused. I don't think you know. I don't know what it's gonna take to possibly fix things with me and my daughter, but whatever it takes. I'm all in right now. How do you feel? Uh, I feel... He said whatever it takes... To, he, to fix things with you. He's all in for it. In other words, like, he'll do whatever he has to do to fix things with you. Um. I may need a bit of time before I do see him. Okay. Um, I just feel that I'm not ready. Okay. See him. Why, why are you so sad about the situation? Or mad or whatever words you want to use? Um, I'm sad because... He left me and I didn't have a dad for a long time. Mm -hmm. I was a bit upset that he left because um, I was left without a dad and I felt abandoned, which I was. I don't have much memories with him. Most of my memories are with my dad, my stepdad. Most of my memories and moments were with him because he was mostly in my life. If you had some good things to remember about your biological dad, what are they? Um, Do you remember anything? No. Nothing at all? Not even one thing? Mm. 
So you ready to go all in with Absolutely. Because everybody's mad, bro. Including me. I'm mad at you, bro. Super mad at you. Because it's not I'm like... Myself, bro. It's not like nobody close the door on you, bro. That's what pissed nah, me off, bro. Yeah, I know. And that's what... Listen, this is the thing that... This is what I think about. This is what gets me every day. Nobody did anything wrong to me. Right. I did all the damage to myself. And I caused everyone else damage. No one, everyone always welcomed me in with open arms, treated me as family, as blood. And yet I still f up. And I still decided to disappear. And the more time that went past, the more I became stuck. So every day that would pass, like, damn, how can I get back? How can I get back? And then just, I never, ever took that step over the line. And you know, the longer you take, to take that and step. And the longer that I took, the and that's the way I am. That's what got me where I'm at now. <clears throat> So he was scared to reach out to you. Why? He got scared because, like he said, the longer he took, the more scared he was to reach out because he know he just kept taking so long. He like didn't know how to reach out. How do you feel about that? Um. Um. I feel confused because why would you be scared to reach out to your own daughter? For an example. Um, remember I tell you fear stops you in life? You know when you're scared to do something. If you never take that shot, you might never know if you could do it or not. So well, you might never know what they say. Huh? You might never know what they say. Right, so he was just scared. Like he didn't know, you know, how everyone was going to feel about him and all that stuff. And how do you feel about that? You being his daughter and him being the biological dad, do you feel like, like, you know, anything should have stopped him? Um, I feel like nothing should have stopped him from seeing me. Okay. All right, so, choices or consequences. Every choice we made in life, Absolutely. they come with consequences. And you know that, because yeah. you made a big choice. And you paying for the consequences for the choices you made right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And now you made another big choice again. And it's more consequences. So it's like, bro, we gotta understand life here now. And then they still, we're not kidding no more. We can't make mistakes and like, I just sit there. It's gonna be okay now. I'm dealing with people, dealing, especially your daughter. You're dealing with your daughter's mental health right now. You know, you know what I'm feel right now, bro? Bro, I'm disappointed, bro. I'm, bro, you don't understand right now. Let me tell you something. You don't understand, but I'm around, so I understand, right? So I felt disappointed as well. Because it's not like... Yeah. So, I feel like I don't want to speak to him because if he comes into my life and then leaves me again, I'm going to be a bit hurt. Right. So you had a, you had a point where you're just protecting yourself? Yeah. Guys, um, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to say it in the most nicest possible way. But the reason I'm giving myself time is because if he comes into my life and then leaves, and then leaves... I'm going to be hurt, and I don't want to be, so... Like I tell you, it was good. London, London after all those years when London was going to ruin you, and she finally got a chance to kind of build up bond with you again. It was there, though. Yeah. London missed you, bro. I know. The hurt I seen London eyes when she was calling for you, bro. That shit pissed me off, man. I felt that shit, bro. It's not a good feeling. I, I never want to see London like that again, bro. Never. You feel me? I, it, to be honest, everybody's mad, and I'm trying to give you an opportunity right now to tell how you feel. You know, talk to London right now, because mm -hmm. they don't want to hear nothing you have to say. It's hard, but like, like I tell you, I believe in chances. I feel like if you show that you're really serious, like you really want this, bro, like you show that, yo, listen, no matter what happened, I'm not going to switch up on my daughter, because like, your daughter should be a main priority out of anything. That's your blood, bro. And then at the end of this, that's all you have. Let's be honest here. We may stuck, that's fine, but guess what? We gotta learn from a mistake and you know what, bro, I'm not trying to go through that again. And like you said, you will just 
you want to come back, but it's like time keep going. The harder to come back. I don't know, man. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know what steps to take. I don't know what to do. I'm just here talking to you right now, trying to trying to find a way back, bro. That's it. This gonna make a big difference. I tell you that much. You hear now. But guess what? You hear now. You gotta show that yo. Listen, I'm serious. Like I asked you last night, are you willing to even wait if London stay? Listen, I don't want to talk to her right now. I mean, what if it take two years, five takes, years? Bro. Whatever it takes. You know, because I didn't just tell it's what London feel and what London want. I didn't this. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't force London on you, and nobody could do that. And nobody not gonna do that. Of course not. You know, there's consequences, and it's hard. You know, it's like that's your daughter, bro, and you you miss her so many years already. What do you think dad is doing? Is he giving um, good advice? Yes. Yeah. You like the advice he's giving? Uh, I like it a lot. Okay. I just want the best for London. You know, you think it look, bro. Put yourself in my shoes. You know, I step out when you step out. Absolutely. London was crying. London was sad, bro. I, I could never be a man without stepping out, bro. I have to step out. I appreciate you, bro. That's all I can say. I apologize for putting that on you, putting that on everybody else. Alright, so I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but at least this is a start. And let's take time. But I have faith, bro. I walk with faith. I feel like if you have a powerful faith that things are gonna work out for the better and you put in the work to make it better, bro, it's gonna be great. Because guess what? With time, time heals everything, bro. Time. You know, but you can't just say, all right, listen, I'm going to try hard this month, the next month, all right, I walk off. Nah, bro. There's certain things that we're doing in life, we have to give up. If we really want what we really want, we have to learn to give up certain things. I know, it. listen, I'm a prioritize right now. What's my, what's most important to me? Cause at this time right now, I know you hurt, right? You hurt. Oh, beyond hurt, bro. It doesn't matter what I... It doesn't matter what I do on a daily basis, what I accomplish. This this whole situation just plays in the back of my head. So I can never really, truly, truly be happy with anything. Because at the end of the day, I have a daughter that I abandoned. That takes away all satisfaction from anything else. He said that, you know, it takes away all satisfaction, meaning that he has a daughter he abandoned and he feels like he could never live happy unless he yeah, he makes the relationship up with you. So, so let so look at the camera, all right? Um, what, what, do you see yourself having a relationship with him? Do you want to give him that chance? Just not ready to see him. But do you plan on seeing him one day? One day. Okay. I know I caused a lot of damage, and I know most of the family don't want nothing to do with me, and that's fine. Why you think my daughter? Mm -hmm. Why you think the family don't want to do that? Because they try, bro. Because they, exactly. They try. You, exactly. you dealt with them, bro. I don't know what you was going through at that time. I wish I could have helped you. Bro, but I nobody. Was I, was, I was, bro, I was bad. It was bad. I hit, I hit rock bottom. I was out of work for almost two years. Just living day by day. He went through a really hard time in his life. He, on top of that, he lost his job, so he had no money. No money to eat, no money to drive, no money to go nowhere, no money to do nothing. Money helps you do anything in life. So he said he hit rock bottom. He had nothing. I feel a bit sorry for him now that I live over here. I'm not sure if he has a car, if he does. Maybe one day he can see me.
but I'm still wondering why. I was living in um, our old house in New York, so I was wondering. I'm still wondering why he couldn't see me in, with his free time that he had. Why couldn't he walk from where he was to come to my house? Well, my old house, of course. People that would help you, though. You know what I'm saying? These are people that would help you. You turn your back on them. You know what I'm saying? If you hit rock bottom, you lose a job, whatever. Because we've been around you when you didn't have a job. Yeah. We helped you to get a job. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I'm one of the people that was helping you. That's why, I, that's why it hurts even more. It's like, how inconsiderate can I possibly be? How selfish can I possibly be? I'm the only people that's, that was ever there for me. I treated like, like dirt. I don't know where my mindset was at that point. I pray for you, bro. I pray for you, man. At this point, it's up to London, it's up to Leanna. There's not much I could do. No, of course not. You know what I'm saying? I know. This is, this is... This is out of mind. This is what it is. I'm grateful, bro. You know? Grateful. Regardless if I end up learning or not, it don't change my love for her. I love learning regardless of her. That's my daughter, bro. I've been, I've been around her since she was two. You know that. Yeah. You know, and nobody's gonna close the door on you, but like I tell you, it might take time. And at this point, it's, it's just time and... So dad said, if he adopts you or not, you're still his daughter. He's always going to love you. Um, I feel happy that my biological father is telling the truth now. Why he couldn't see me. And my dad is giving great advice. Okay. And learning and patience, you know? I'm pretty sure London and watch us but didn't see you. At least that's an effort. At least you're here right now, you know what I'm saying? London, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. I'm human. Um, it's nothing that's going to justify what I did to you. Um. I just want you back in my life, that's all. I just need you to forgive me. If it's not today, if it's not tomorrow, if it's a year from now. I love you. He said he's willing to take time for you to forgive him. You know, however long it takes. I need a little bit of time. Okay. To forgive you because I was really hurt at the time when you didn't see me. One of my sad memories is one I asked my biological father for AirPods. He said he'll buy them. I was happy and I was waiting for them. I think I called him a few times, mm -hmm. after, like a few days later, and he didn't pick up the phone. And I got really sad. He kind of left me hanging. Leanna, I apologize for the, for the pressure that I put on you and everybody. Um, oh, yeah, I was nothing but good to me. Just know that what I did was, that was on me. Was it the no backlash from anything, any kind of vibes that I ever felt from y'all. I was going through what I was going through, fighting my own demons. I just, you know, I lost my way. But like I said, there's nothing that's gonna justify the damage I caused. All I can do is try to fix what's in front of me now. I appreciate Shane. I always appreciate it, Sharon. It's a good man. He took this this step, this opportunity for me, 
from my nerve. And I'm just grateful to everyone else I love y'all. And I apologize. So, um, I'm gonna say something to that apology. I'm at a point where I feel like people go through things and I respect it, but I personally feel like right now I'm just not in a forgiving state. I might need to pray a lot more. Only because I, I was the one who experienced and was the witness of what my child was going through. And as a mom, I just felt like completely betrayed. Like I just, I kind of felt like, you know, you rob yourself, like you didn't love your child, you know, but I could be wrong. I've never told you this, but that's what I did feel. That's why I'm at a state where I feel like I'm going to stay away. Maybe I might pray more and yeah, forgive one day. Mm -hmm. The reason this video was up is because Shane and I didn't want you to grow up and feel like you have so many questions or like feel like you know whatever happened to your dad and stuff like that i guess i forgive your apology because i'm very nice and i guess i'll forgive your apology because like my mom said people do go through things but i still feel like there was no excuse they didn't come and see me right i agree with you you know because you could be on the other side of the world and I'm going to make it happen for you. I promise you that. And I'm going to make sure I see you and do whatever I can for you. Because just with the love that I have for you as a mom, there's no barriers there. I love you to death. And I feel like this video was very important. It was very positive and it was something that your dad and I felt we needed to give to you because I didn't want you to grow up and question anything or this situation ever affect your adulthood or trust or, or give you trust issues or have you just questioning yourself or anything we really really wanted to express that that opportunity to you because no matter how we feel no matter how i feel no matter how dad feels it doesn't matter when it comes to you it's just about how you feel and i feel like that was definitely the right choice and dad feels like it was definitely the right choice so I was really scared and I felt like this would affect you in your future. And we are giving you the opportunity to have more love if you want more love. Okay? I love you, London, and I'm sorry I'm not the best mom in the world, but I feel like you're the best daughter in the world. And I feel like you deserve this and whatever you want, whatever questions you have, whatever questions you want answered, we are here to make sure that we can fulfill that for you. Okay? I love you. Sorry these things happen. Everyone is human. And when you become a woman, you might do some things that you might question yourself. Like, why did I do that? But that's how we learn sometimes from our mistakes. Alright, so don't judge anyone because God teaches us not to judge, right? What what else does God teach us to do? Um, not to judge people, to love, the pe love people, uh -huh. love yourself, take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. To forgive. To forgive people. Yep. To pray a lot. Yeah. So that you can repent from your sins. So that we can repent from our sins, yes. I respect that, bro.
That's the biological dad was crying. He has a whole bunch of emotions going on. And if there's our thing you would, bro, you just have to start something. Have to. What's your, what's your state of mind now? You in a better place? Way better place. I got my job back. I'm just, I just work, work. I don't have no social life, bro. That's I cool. work six days a week. I'm just today's my only day off. I'm happy you get a job back. I'm happy in a better place, state of mind, right? But you gotta understand, right? Whenever things get hard, you don't run from nothing. You don't run from responsibility. You don't run yeah. from it. When things get exactly hard, you gotta different. learn to face it. They can't run from it. You're gonna create damage running from it, especially the ones who love you, bro. A big shout out to my husband, of course. He's awesome. He 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 took a big step for you, right? He did do that. What do you have to say to him? Um. Thank you so much. I love you. You're the best person on earth. So shout out to Husbandito. He is the best person on earth. I respect him so much. He's brave. He's very brave because me, I couldn't do it for a lot of reasons, right? It's it's not just selfishness. I I am protecting my child, but I couldn't do it for a lot of reasons. Even the fact that my husband is such a great dad and role model i would never want my husband to question like am i not good enough because he is great and i'm sure my husband wouldn't because he's he's just awesome he's so understanding but i felt like that was his place to speak to him man to man like father to father it wasn't my place and i'm grateful i'm very grateful how about you i'm very grateful that he took a big step Yes, he did take a big step. I'm also grateful that Rob didn't let him down because I thought Rob was going to let him down. You have to have faith in people. Yep, I do have to have faith in people. I just thought Rob was going to let him down and I'm like, I don't know. I deeply know that, I, I knew this was a safe situation because knowing the characters behind these two men, I know that nothing would happen it would just be a grown-up conversation and um i'm not surprised how it outplayed because like i say these are two um characters that that are pretty understanding to people and respectful um again i thank my husband i think i think that because i would have got the answers but maybe in a different way not like this so that is awesome he is totally awesome i appreciate him you know getting these answers for my beautiful daughter to secure her mental health and allow her to feel free you know and overall through everything else whatever he was feeling your biological dad did say he loves you so he does love you he did love you he was just fighting his own demons, as he says. This is to my biological dad. I need a bit of time before I see you. Please, if you're going to come into my life, please do not leave. Because I do not want to be hurt once again. I know you was going through a hard time. Sorry for that. Um, I've seen my mom and dad go through a struggle before, and they have never left. So, I have no clue why you did. So, London, uh, maybe one day you can sit down and maybe you can write a list of questions that, I that you have in your mind and ask him these questions, even when it includes your other grandmother who has passed away. And then you have an uncle who has passed away, your dad's brother passed away, and his mommy passed away. And maybe you could ask a bunch of questions. And you get to know the other side or the truth behind everything. That's not my place. It's more like his place. So guys, I want to say um, again, thanks to my awesome husband who I love dearly. I love him a lot and I appreciate him. And of course, he does anything to put a smile on our faces, right? 
and I see a big smile on your face. <laughs> so again, I love you, my husband. Thank you so much. Um, love you, Dad. Thank you for um, Rob. Thanks for showing up, and hopefully thanks for telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can rekindle. You know, it's been nine years. Nine years. It's going on ten years. You was in her life for about a year. And two, now, maybe? Yeah, about two oh, years. Can. So it's a lot. It's a lot. I hope you take fatherhood serious. Because um, you only got one shot this time. That's it. Anyway, guys. Go ahead. No, go, go, go. We gave you many chances. You should have took the opportunity. Yeah. So you have one shot this time. Give it your all. And uh, to everyone else, I love you guys. I want you guys to um, like this video. Like this video. Like, share, subscribe. Um, big respect to my husband, man. He's so brave. And one day I want to be like him. <laughs> anyway guys I love you guys peace out make sure to like 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 the video let us know what you think about it turn your notification bell on okay you hear it from the queen no the princess the princess okay the princess all right guys peace out